What's up guys, it's Connor with TGN.TV here and today I am doing another Minecraft video. This is uh, our eighth video, our eighth episode here. And it's just me, Brian's actually AFK. Uh, but I did want to show you guys, I made a lot of changes since he burnt down the house uh, last video. Um, and I just want to show you kind of what we've got here. And we, I found a cave system and we got a lot of gold and uh, a little bit of iron as well, as well as some redstone as you guys can see right there. So. Uh, we still have the same old tools and stuff. Got a lot less stone because I used it to rebuild the house, as you guys will see here. Let's head back into the newly built house. All right. So you can see, the house is much nicer than it used to be. It's all stone now. Glass skylights. Uh, it's looking a lot better. I opened this window up a little bit more. I still have to do that window. And then if we go downstairs here, um, not very. Uh, different i guess it's pretty much the same it's all stone now um and then moving on downward uh, all these little like random stones and stuff are here because i was trying to put that glass and i need somewhere to stand we still have all our mine shafts but i'm going to take you down to the bottom where you can actually see this huge cave system i found when i was digging earlier today because i needed coal really badly and we didn't have any and it's getting dark too so it's a good time so this is my mine shaft branch c1 go ahead and close the door and this one was probably one of our longest mine shafts. I'm just gonna fill it in with. Okay. I'll bring my wooden sword just in case of the fight off anything. He did say there were spiders when he was on earlier, uh, and you checked it out. He said there was a lot of spiders, but I haven't seen any yet. I don't think there's a monster spider down here, so I don't know what he's talking about. So right here we have branch into cave system. Go in here. And then we have the entrance right up here, cave entrance. Go ahead and close those doors. So you can see here this huge cave I found. Uh, we throw torches everywhere. You can see there's huge blocks missing on the top too because that's where I've gotten all my gold as well as all of our um, copper and, I mean not copper, iron. Let's actually move this so we can go up here. It looks like we haven't even looked at this part yet. Let's see. Yeah, we haven't even explored up here yet, guys, so. Let's see what's up here. Oh, redstone. Yeah, it was a good thing I checked this out. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take this redstone. Getting a lot of redstone here. Give me one sec, guys, so I can uh, fix this. Bam, okay. Just want to change the brightness on my screen a little bit, and we are good. So it looks like there's just a little bit of redstone back here. Not too much going on other than that. Alright. Let's head down deeper into the cave, and you guys can see there's a lot of stuff. And right here, we both started to dig, and then I stopped digging on the left side, and then we came over to the right side and just dig, dug together. We found a lot of coal along here. You can see where I patched in spots. Um... And I thought that was redstone for a sec. Mm, here we go. Then we found this other cave system that attaches to that one. And this is where we found a lot more redstone as well as um, iron and gold. So, whoa, whoa. That was cool. There's redstone down here too. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff still even yet. And we've been checking this place out for quite a while. So it'll definitely be nice to have some more new tools, gold tools. And we are hitting a lot of resources. So... We're, we're gonna probably, oh, we're gonna probably like try to build like something cool, like a castle or something like that eventually, because we have a lot of stone, uh, because we've been doing all this mining. Uh, keep taking my torch out. All right, go ahead and put that there. Alright, so let's actually head back up here to get the redstone. Bam. Looks like that's all that's up here. Oh, more coal. Like I said, guys, there's so much coal and stuff in this cave. Definitely full of resources to take. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Is this another place we haven't been? I still have my monitor's brightness on so low. I can barely see. Yeah, like I said, guys, there's just so much places to go in this cave. I'm looking for a monster spawner because he was complaining about a lot of, like, zombies and uh, creepers and stuff like that being all over the place. Always good to check the ceilings. I probably way over torched that area. Alright. I'm lost. 
I have no clue where I'm going. I really don't know where I am. Well, that's not good. Oh, I fell. Alright guys, well, that was cool. Um, I'm gonna have to try to find my way out of here somehow. That's what I hate about cave systems, they're so confusing. And I'm back to where I was a second ago. Ninja Leap. I guess I need to go up, wherever that is. There we go, okay, I found my way out. So guys, I'm going to show you some of the additions that we've made to the outside of the house as well. And by we, I mean I, because Brian is extremely lazy um, when it comes to making things. He just likes to dig like a little gopher. Oh, I thought that was redstone too. So I need to put some doors actually down there by the new cave entrance too. There is a plane flying over my house that you guys can hear, and it sounds like it's going to hit my house. It's so low it sounds. Where am I going? Where's the big doors? Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Oh, it's over here. See, this is what's going to I'm going to, like, line the whole thing with signs. I'll put down some red torches on the way, the way to go. Because that was definitely very confusing to find out where to go. I don't really know how deep we are. And I don't really know how to check how deep you are either. So someone can leave that in the comment section. I don't know which way I'm going. I think it's this way. Someone can leave that in the comment section how you can like tell how deep you are. Because I have no clue how deep we are right now. Oh, crap. Now we're going to spin around while using your sword. Takes out all of your torches, which is not good. If there was like something I could build or give me a speed boost, so we'll probably put rails down there because that is just such a long walk. And it's nighttime too. I love how I have we have the lava up there for lighting. Very natural way to light the house. Even though we have torches here too. Just do both is good. So let's go back upstairs. Go to the outside view. I think I'm gonna explode the house. Oh Jesus! Spider! Oh, if I die, I'm gonna be pissed. Run to the shed! Run to the shed! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was bad. If there's a creeper, I'm gonna die. All right, Brian just came on too. That's good. So I lived. I'm gonna put everything in this uh, box so we don't lose it all. Definitely don't want to lose everything that we have. Good thing I got some food. And there's still a skeleton. I'm going to take him out. Look at this pro micro right here. Got some free arrows. Kill these pigs for food. Kill this chicken. Or not. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes this episode, episode 8 of our Dig Deep series, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, leave any questions, comments, concerns in the comment section below. Also, I'll leave that, uh, how you can find out how deep you are in the comment section below as well, and uh, expect more videos to come in the future. Uh, until then, peace.